Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rajas Kakasungura YouTube channel. A big thank you for your continued support. From the look of things, it is like uh, William Ruto's cabinet will be facing petition after another until maybe they complete their term or maybe others could be affected by the petitions and either resign or the appointments be revoked. Because as things stand, Kenyans are not giving it a damn. They don't want to give any chances to allow incompetence in the government. <clears throat> Previously, last week I told you petitioners have moved to court seeking the revocation of the appointment of um, Aden Duale, um, Weekly from Besto Paranya and the Interior Cabinet Secretary uh, Kidure Kindiki. The petition is still in court and we shall wait to see how things will move. <clears throat> um, now, another petitioner has moved to court, a separate petitioner has separately moved to court to specifically seek to quash the appointment of uh, Cabinet Secretary Wycliffe Ampesta Oparanya. According to reports, Mr. Frederick Mula is arguing that the petition lodged at the Anti-Corruption Division of the High Court Director of Public Prosecution at the High Court that the decision by the DPP Renson Igonga to review plans to change Mr. Paranya was illegal and not made in public interest. Mr. Mla argues that the decision to drop the charges of corruption, conflict of interest, money laundering, and abuse of office lacked adherence to the basic principles and the tenets of law including transparency, accountability, social justice, good governance, and integrity. We all of us know that prior to his appointment, Oparanya had already an active case with the ICC on money laundering and other charges. <clears throat> Consequently, the first interested party Mr. Paranya's nomination to the position of a cabinet secretary disregards the relevant material that is vital to the legislative and constitutional purpose of integrity, which ought to have been taken into account during the nomination. That is uh, Mula saying. He also says the DPP decided to charge Mr. Paranya with corruption related charges. On December 18th last year, after concurring with the investigations conducted by the Antics and Anti-Corruption Commission, the EACC. Mr. Igonga, however, uh, reviewed the decision on 8th July 2024 and decided to drop the plans of charging Mr. Oparanya. Mr. Mula pointed out that the decision was conspicuously made the same time Mr. Paranya was nominated to the cabinet. He further says that the DPP's action to elevate, to evaluate alleged new evidence without calling for further investigations from the ESCC was against the law and amounts to usurping the investigative mandate of the anti-graft body. Ladies and gentlemen, Um, from this one, I say that Ruto's cabinet is going to face a series of court uh, petitions because some of them are in those positions against the code of uh, contact in the public service. Mr. Mulua now is asking the court to quash the decision by the DPP reviewing plans to charge 
Mr. Oparanya. And I want to exactly quote what he said. That a declaration does issue that first interested party, Mr. Oparanya's nomination to the state office in light of the illegal, irrational, and irregular review of its decision to judge is inconsistent with the law and the constitution on matters leadership and integrity thus devoid of procedural prosperity and legality. Mr. Paranya as an individual is facing, I think now this is the third petition if I'm not wrong. The first petition was filed before Mr. Paranya was vetted. I remember so and uh, I did an, an, an analysis here. The second petition is a petition that was filed with I think the Kenya Human Rights, I don't know what, seeking to have the revocation of Oparanya, Aden Duale, uh, and Kiture Kindiki. This now becomes the third petition. Now, Oparanya is now facing three consecutive petitions. Ile Akwanza before the vetting was specifically addressing Oparanya. The second one was addressing the three. Now, the, this one is specifically again addressing Oparanya. And maybe you never know who is going to file another petition tomorrow. But then, Kaka, I want to say this. And I've said this before. That uh, why should we keep recycling? People have been in a relationship for ages. Some of them have cases that are pending. This is what happened in the last cabinet, whereby the likes of Mithika Linturi, their cases were withdrawn without explanation. Aisha Juma, his case was withdrawn without any explanation. And many, many others who had caught cases of graft, murder, rape, and defilement cases, but Kenyans woke up one morning and found those cases thrown out without any explanation. I think we are losing integrity as a nation. God bless you, ladies and gentlemen. See you in the next video. Asante Nisan.